CataractCoach.com. Cataract Quiz, what are these small, numerous opacities in the center of that red reflex? Seem like a routine case. This patient has pseudo exfoliation. We can see that material on the anterior lens capsule and the modest dilation. Here's the main incision being created. We'll perform the capsular axis, and we're taking care to make this capsular axis bigger than the pupil. We'll fast forward here. Nucleus has already been removed from the eye. That went beautifully. And now we'll do our cortex removal. So there were no issues so far. The patient had good zonular support and strength. We were able to create a nice round capsular axis. And during phaco chop, the nucleus was held beautifully in place. Now when we do the cortex removal, look back there in the center of the red reflex. Those little dots or opacities are actually in the anterior hyaloid face. There's a little bit of fluid that went between the zonular support structures. And because we chopped up the cataract and emulsified it, little tiny bits of lens material go back there. Now that's not on the front surface of the posterior capsule. It's behind the posterior capsule in the anterior hyaloid face. There's just a little tiny bit of lens material. Look, when I put viscoelastic, we can push some of those particles away from the central visual axis. As we inject the viscoelastic, we could push them out to the side. So that's where those particles are, anterior hyaloid face. We'll put the lens in the eye. This patient is getting a trifocal lens. And again, there is good capsular support there. There's just some areas where fluid was allowed to go between relatively lax zonular support structures and a little bit of fluids in the anterior hyaloid face. Now, we don't have shallowing of the anterior chamber. It's not a lot of fluid. It's very, very little. And what's going to happen to those particles? Well, they're going to absorb over time. The inflammatory process is going to help dissolve them. And the patient may have a little bit more um, inflammation than usual. Let's get out the remainder of that lens material that we can see here in the capsule bag. And then we can go underneath the optic as well. Underneath the optic, removing all the viscoelastic. And again, noting that there's good capsule support. If we had poor capsule support, we'd see a lot more wrinkling of the capsule bag. And we may see the capsule axis shift, but luckily, that's not the case. So we can center the lens up here. Now you see there are the diffractive rings on this trifocal lens. And we see just a little bit of those few particles there. Mind you, we also increase our red reflex to make these videos. And by increasing the red reflex, the sharpness settings and the contrast settings, you see these particles a little bit more. On post-op day one, when examining this patient with a slit lamp, you really don't see any of those tiny little particles. And again, they do dissolve over time in the inflammatory cascade and pose no significant issue here. It is important to keep the patient on topical NSAIDs and steroids for a little bit longer in this case until the eye is truly quiet. So in that regard, I'll put a little bit of triamcinolone in the anterior chamber here at the end of the case. Swirl that around, and that's going to help with the initial inflammatory control, but it won't last more than just a few days. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Check out cataractcoach.com, our teaching channel. We have a lot more great material just like this. In fact, there's a whole series on the cataract quizzes. Take them all and see how well you do.